Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to give you guys a little review and first impression on some of the new stuff from ColourPop. I do have the eyeshadow palette and two of the setting sprays. So I decided to review them for you guys and I decided to give you guys my thoughts on these little products right here so i really hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe for future videos don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not already but if you guys would like to see a little review on these products then of course just keep on watching all right you guys so as you guys see by the title i'm going to be reviewing a few of the new color pop stuff that have been released recently um so i do have this eyeshadow palette right here this is the yes please press powder eyeshadow palette and then i also have two of the setting sprays that they came out with so i believe that these um products right here have been released for a while it's just that they were like sold out um as soon as they came out and they restocked them again and i was able to pick them up the second time so i decided to do a review for you guys because i really haven't seen many people talk about them i mean maybe it's just the people that i follow just don't really talk about them but um i decided to review them for you guys so that's what we're going to be doing today um i'm going to start off with probably the eyeshadows um so as you guys can see i do have a bare face because i'm going to be um doing a little tutorial with this as well so um this is what the palette looks like um this is the box that it comes in it's a bright yellow box and then on the back it has all the name shades right there and like i said this is the yes please eyeshadow palette so then this is the actual palette right here it says qaf and then color pop and it's just like a white it's like a white grayish type of packaging that it comes with and then in the back again it has all of the shade names so that's very nice um that it comes with that that way you know like you know you can say a name like for doing tutorials i really like when they have names instead of just saying oh this brown color this red color you know what i mean instead i like to say like the name that way if you guys have the same palette you guys know what i'm talking about anyways and then you open it and this is it right here it has color pop and then it has hashtag color pop me and these are the shades that it comes with and i really really like these shades you guys because they're just like my type of colors if you know what i mean like so i really like this palette once i saw it so um let me just really quickly go ahead and prime my eyelids so that we can do a little tutorial with these and see how they apply so let me do that real quick and then i'll be right back all right you guys so i'm going to start my eyes are all are primed i just used concealer so i'm going to go in with this color so i can set the eyes and this color right here is called bling so they are very powdery like when i go in here it does you know have some fallout on there but i mean i really don't mind that i feel like a lot of eyeshadows do that and they still apply very nicely so now i'm gonna go in with let's see i'm gonna go in with this color down here that one is called show fur and it's just like a nice subtle brown so i'm gonna use this as a transition color so just gonna go into my crease Oh, that's a very pigmented color. So that's nice. And I really like this palette because it's like so tiny. You can like definitely travel with this wherever you go, you know. Um, and I really like that because it has like amazing, amazing colors. Plus, it's like a good size just to pack it wherever you go you can even slide this in your purse and it'll fit i can guarantee you that next i'm going to take this orangey color over here and that one is called louis i'm pretty sure it's called louis so i changed my brush this is one of the color pop brushes and i'm going to go ahead and put this on the outer part of my eye and then bring it into the crease as well And I had already like swatched these as soon as I got them just because I got super excited and I wanted to see how they swatched. And 
they swatch pretty nice i don't know if i'm gonna do like you know actual swatches like on my hand really the only place that matters is where they go which is the eyes so that's why i like wanted to do like a little tutorial with this like little review because you, you know we're not going to be putting them on our freaking arm we're going to be putting them on our eyes with brushes so that's really all that matters to me you know what i mean so after that i'm going to go in with this red color right here that one is called butter cake and with the same brush we're going to do the exact same thing with the uh, that we did with the other shade So far, you guys, these colors are very, very nice. They're super easy to blend. Like, I'm really surprised that they're, like, very easy to blend. Alright, so now for our eyelid color, I'm going to go in with... I think I'm going to go in with mix these two together because um, this one seems a little too gold and then this one seems a little too bronzy. So I'm just going to like swipe them, you know, like this and just mix those two together and just apply that on the eyelid. So now I'm going to go in with the, the red color and I'm just going to... Um, Blend the harsh line right here. So I'm really, really loving these eyeshadows. The ones that I use so far are very nice. I'm, I'm going to keep using this palette, you guys, because I really want to use like these yellow colors in here. So for now, this is the only eye look that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to keep it just like this um, and as you guys can see the eyeshadows blended out super super nice so I'm really really loving the eyeshadows in this palette you guys if you guys have not got it I'm pretty sure I know that it's like out of stock right now I'm not sure if they're going to be like restocking it but if they do you guys be sure you get your hands on this it's only $16 you get 12 eyeshadows I feel like that's a pretty good deal because compared to like other brands you get less shades for more money i mean it's just because like depending the brand but i feel like this is a really really good um deal so if you guys want to get your hands on it definitely keep an eye out on the restock so now really quickly i'm just gonna go ahead and do like uh, my mascara i don't know if i want to apply falsies because it's not really like an eyeshadow look but i don't know i just might so i think i'm just gonna apply these um sephora lashes i'm just gonna go ahead and prep my falsies i'm gonna do this off camera because like i said i'm only focusing like on the tutorial for the eyes and the review and then we'll, we'll move on and review the um setting sprays all right you guys so now we're done with the eyes and now i'm gonna um go in with one of these i don't know which one i want to use today um i have the rose quartz one and the aquamarine setting spray so the day that i got them i did um just test out the spray just to see how it would spray you know so um let me take them both out of the box so you guys can see what they look like so this is what they look like they come in a glass bottle and they're actually pretty small they're very small in size this has 1.86 fluid ounce so um and these are i believe six dollars each i'm going to read a little bit about them so this is the rose quartz um spray and then it says this stone of the heart this stone of the heart will attract love keep love and help mend a broken heart so this contains real rose quartz apple extract for intense hydration grapefruit extract olive oil deriv derivative sorry um for a dewy finish okay, so that's the rose quartz one and now the aquamarine is aquamarine translates to water of the sea and brings calmness and relaxation so it contains real aquamarine crystal coconut water apple extract for intense hydration olive oil derivative for dewy finish coralina of Fishinalis extract. I'm sorry, you guys. I suck at reading. Natural red algae for an extra moisture boost. 
So I think I want to go in with the aquamarine one today. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this as a priming spray as well as a setting spray. So I'm going to use this before my makeup and after my makeup as well. So um, let me just go ahead and start spraying. Oh my gosh. So the spray is like pretty, pretty... Um, like rough it sprays out a lot at once and it's not really like of a mist it's more like of an actual spray so um yeah that really it really does you know get on your skin so yeah um i don't know if I, how i feel about the spray um i feel like for a, a primer spray it'd be nice but for like a setting spray i feel like it just hit directly like in one spot but we will see after so i'm gonna go ahead and do like my foundation and everything off camera just for the purpose of the video since we know we're not really doing like an actual tutorial i want to see how those work once everything is on you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly and then i'll be back to see how they work once like everything is on all right you guys so now i have my whole face makeup on and now let's see how and see how it works so i did realize that when i started i didn't shake it and then on the back it says shake me up gently hold that unarmed length away from your beautiful face and spray 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 so now i'm going to like shake it up um and now i'm gonna it says to hold it from like an arm length away so i'm gonna go ahead and just spray it all over my face and let's see how it you know goes on So that really really got on there as you guys can see um i have you know so very quickly i'm going to go in there with my wet beauty sponge and you know just tap everything in there just so i can sink in all together but i mean all in all i feel like it you know applied very well so i'm um, a little bit a little bit of background on my skin i do have really dry skin um, so I always like to go in with like a, you know, priming mist before I even go in with foundation because I feel like that really helps me out for like my really dry skin. I don't get like dry patches as how I used to before like going in with like a priming mist. So if you guys have dry skin like I do, try using a priming mist that really, really helps out you guys. So try that out. But um, I really liked how the foundation applied on top of it. Um... It applied very nice and smoothly and I also like how it applied on top of the foundation because I feel like it gives you like an extra hydration and like that dewy look. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I actually do see a little bit of a difference. Like I see a little bit of some glow um, and I feel like it really did give me some hydration as well. So um, all in all, you guys, I am really liking the setting spray. I really love the eyeshadow palettes. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is it does not come with a mirror. Um, but to me, I really don't mind that because I'm always using this big mirror that I have in front of me. So my last and final thoughts on this um, collection. I don't know if it's like an actual like, collection, but the eyeshadow palette gets a thumbs up from me. I definitely, definitely approve of this. I really hope you guys decide to give this a try because it's really, really good. I really love the eyeshadows in this palette. They blend out amazing. They're super easy to blend and they're very nice and smooth. Um, for the setting sprays, I really like them as well. One thing that I did notice is that it does spray like very um, rough or like not rough, but like really like, what's the word that I'm looking for? I don't know but it doesn't spray like an actual mist it goes on like directly on there so what i found works best is if you hold it out like you know far like a whole arm length away you get it um on there nice and even so that's the only thing with the setting sprays other than that they smell amazing it's not like a very very strong scent but you can definitely uh, tell that there's like a little set in there, but like I said, it's nothing too much. It's just like a very mild scent. So I'm really, really liking the eyeshadow palette and the setting spray. So I definitely give them a thumbs up, you guys. So definitely check them out. I'm not sure if the setting sprays are out of stock, but definitely give them a try, you guys. They're only $6. And like I said before, the eyeshadows are only $16. 
so you guys that completes this little review and little tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think of this if you guys have tried it out let me know what your thoughts are on these um and let me know if you guys want to try them so yeah you guys thank you everyone so much for watching and until next time i will talk to you guys in my next video bye